Hello, and welcome back to this new SolidWorks Composer tutorial series. Last week, we talked about using the Digger tool to add additional detail to your views. If you want to check that video out, or any of the other videos in this series, click the link in the description below for a playlist of all the Composer Quick Start videos. Today, we're going to talk about using styles in Composer. Let's get into it. So what are styles? Styles are collections of properties that control the appearance of actors. All of the properties in the properties pane are available within a style. Thus, they're a quick and easy way to create a uniform and unique look for your deliverables. Another unique property of styles is called the family. The family of a style governs which type of actors the style affects. Options include annotations, measurements, magnetic lines, and more. A style with generic set as its family will affect all available actors. Now that we understand what styles are, let's learn to navigate to the relevant menus. Go to the Workshops tab and select the Styles button. If the Workshops tab is not already open on the right side of your screen, it should open now to the Styles workshop. There are a variety of options here that will help us customize the properties of our new style. Text, label, attachment changes are just a few of the tools available in this menu. For a quicker and more streamlined process, go to the Styles tab at the top of the screen. You'll see a menu with all existing styles on the left. On the right, there are a few buttons. The Auto Subscribe button automatically subscribes new actors to the default family style. If you wish to change the properties of pieces that are auto subscribed, you must change the properties within the style itself. Below the auto subscribe button, there's an unsubscribe button. This breaks the link between the selected actors and the style that they're subscribed to. And lastly, we have the quick style button. This will create a new style from the properties of the selected actors. With this knowledge, let's try creating and applying a style of our own. In the viewport, I have the bench grinder from the last video. I'm going to go to the Author tab and select the Label tool and label some of the pieces of this assembly. Now, with one of these labels selected, I'm going to go to the Properties tab in the left panel and change the size of the text, the shape of the text box, and the type of the attachment piece. Let's say this is how we want our label to look. We'll click this, and we'll go to the Styles tab, click Quick Style, we'll call it Quick Style Number 1. Now, if we want our other labels to look exactly like this one, it's as easy as selecting them, and then selecting the Quick Style option in the Styles tab. If we like this style, we can quickly and easily set it as our default style. We'll navigate back to the Styles menu, click the desired style, then click Set as Default. Now all new affected actors will be created in that style. You can see that I've opened up a new instance of our bench grinder. Yet when I create a label, it defaults to the same style as before. Let's say that we want to create a uniform look for our deliverables throughout our entire company. How can we quickly and easily share the style that we've just created? Click File, then go to Preferences. Under Preferences, select the Data Paths button. Navigate to the Style section. What is being displayed is the location of the style files on your computer. If we navigate to this location in Windows Explorer, we can see the files themselves. If you send these to someone else, and they change their data path accordingly, they can use that style in their own instance of Composer. If we wanted to create a company standard style, we could put our files in a network drive. This way, they'd be accessible to everyone in the company, and using the same process as before, could use them in their own instances of Composer. Creating styles is an incredibly simple process in Composer but can go a long way in allowing you to create distinctive deliverables quickly. As always, 
remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the blogs and forums for more fantastic Composer content. Next time, we're going to talk about using Composer to create a bill of materials. We hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you next time.